Now, Rachel, thank you for that information. And um, your organization is doing a lot to help victims across, you know, different types of um, different types of victimization. Talk to us about doxing. Explain to the audience that might not know what this phenomenon is, what it actually is, and what are some of the identifiers. Sure, and I would be remiss if I didn't start at the beginning. Most of this crime that we're gonna talk about is rooted in power and control. There is a power dynamic here. There is an understanding that I want to exert um, power over someone else. And how do I do that? Well, I take something from them. And in, in terms of doxing and swatting, we think about it as doxing, meaning that your intimate details of your, your life, your home address, workplace details, personal phone number, social security number, all of those what we call personally identifiable information is shared publicly without your consent. This is a type of crime that is done to punish, to intimidate, to humiliate. And if you think about the, the behaviors that someone who is doxing is exhibiting, a lot of those behaviors are the same behaviors we see happening in abusive relationships. They want to punish the victim. They want to intimidate. They want to humiliate. And so a lot of this is rooted in that kind of gender-based violence uh, uh, framework of understanding how these crimes take place. And so what does swatting mean? Swatting is when you, um, someone will call 911 and say that, um, that uh, someone is being held hostage or that uh, someone is getting ready to kill someone. And then the SWAT team will be dis dispersed to their house, causing fear, causing harassment, in some cases may cause injury to the victim. Um, and so that's kind of a, a nuts and bolts of, of understanding what doxing and swatting is. But again, thinking about the behaviors. And so when we think about someone who wants to uh, punish or harass or stop. They're using these sorts of technologies to do it. But we have to remember that before the internet, before uh, laptops, before computers, before any of that, people were still doing these sorts of crimes. So it's not that the internet or technology is causing the crime. These are about the behaviors of the person who chooses to do it. But again, we always wanna make sure that onus is placed on the abusive person, on the person who's choosing um, to do this. And so thinking about how doxing happens, doxing can range from someone signing, uh, sending a fake email about pizza delivery or email sign up to again, more dangerous um, actions such as harassing a family member or an employer of someone uh, uh, doing identity theft, doing uh, forms of cyber bullying, all of these crimes are interconnected together. Um, and so that's kind of a, a nuts and bolts of, of what doxing is.